So I think I'm about to show a lot of you the video that you've been waiting for. Maybe some of you it's the video you've been dreading. Either way, we've got the undisputed champion over here. Is this the new contender? Let's dive in and find out. Those of you that are subscribed to the channel know that I love a W900. This one, well, seeing the color, it almost brings a tear to my eye. You also know that I like new technology, and this W990 definitely fits the bill. So what is the point of this video? I mean, we've, as I said, we've got the defending champion over here, and is this a new contender? Maybe. So with that being said, Let's get in, let's figure out what we've got with these two trucks, go from there. So guys, in this, when you look at these two trucks, especially with them nose to nose like this, there's a lot that's the same. There's also a lot that's very different. So what I want to do is I want to take the next few minutes and let's dive in and look at some of these things and see what these siblings have in common and what they have that's not in common. Could be interesting. So guys, over here, we've got 565 horsepower and 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. Over here, we've got 565 horsepower and 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. It's the same Cummins X15 in both these trucks. With both of these having the same engine in them, it makes you wonder about the transmission. This one's got an 18 in it. This one's got a 13. In this comparison, I'm not going to look at that. You can get the 13 in that, you can get a 10 in that. You can get the 18 in that, you can get a 10 in that also. You can get the same transmission in either one of these trucks. You can get the same engines in either one of these trucks. One of the other things that we'll talk about in this is wheels, tires, things of that nature. These are actually both running 24 and a half inch low pros. Now there's some subtle differences between these trucks, but that's just in the way that the trucks are specced. Obviously slotted wheels, wheels with holes. Drum brake, disc brake. Both of them are running 13 two front suspension and axles. This one's on a five inch drop, this one's on a three and a half inch drop. Once again, there's not much in between these. Even in spec to spec, these are very similar trucks. Stays interesting, doesn't it? So when it comes to the chassis overall, both these trucks are 10 and three quarter, three eighths frames. They're the same. Out back, there's some slight differences. This truck, the W900, is running an AG400L, which is the four bag suspension in the back. Also, this one's got 336 rear end gears. So over here on the W990, we've got the AG400 suspension. There's no L on that one. This one's the eight bag suspension on this. Now, once again, this is gonna be something that I'm really not gonna be looking at between these two trucks. The reason being is, is you can get either suspension on either truck. You could also get the 380L suspension on these trucks. There are a ton of different options that you can get on both of these trucks. It's not one or the other for this. So this isn't really something that we're going to look at. When you look at a lot of the stuff between these trucks, 
they're very close. I've got a 100 gallon and 150 gallon fuel tanks on this one. I've got a 110 gallon and a 150 gallon fuel tank on that one. There's nothing between them. There are so many things on these two trucks that are the same that I'm not even really sure how much of it's worth talking about. If you look from here down, you can make these trucks identical. That makes things a tough call. The reason why I'm covering a lot of this is so many people out there are quick to say one does this or doesn't do that or one's a piece of junk or one's this and that and the other. They're the same from here down. So whenever you're talking frame, driveline, suspension, any of those things, these two trucks are one and the same. On the flip side of that, you open up the door, these trucks are very, very different. Let's work on these parts here, starting with the sleeper of the W900. This is the VIT interior. So this is your top of the line interior. The W990 has the top of the line interior for that truck also. So we're making an apples to apples comparison on things that are very different. That being said, the button tuck, the way this looks, feels, everything like that, it's classy, it looks nice. It feels nice, it's quiet, it's, I'm in here, there's the shop just outside, there's impact wrenches going, I'm in here, I, I'm not hearing a thing. It's just a great cab. On top of that, there's enough room on this floor with this being the studio sleeper that I could get down and probably if I stuck my feet in the corner, I could do push-ups or sit-ups or whatever I wanted to here. There is a ton of floor space in this truck. It's really just a great setup. When you look at things like the control panel over here, you've got your refrigerator control, you've got your light controls, you control the volume of the speakers back here in the back. The only bad thing I ever have to say in this cabin is it, it looks a little bit dated. These cup holders, I remember being in my dad's conversion van in the, the mid 80s. The, the switches and everything like that, they just, they don't have that modern feel. Now, what I will say in all their defenses is every single one of them has a quality feel. I flip that switch to turn that light on and it's a snap. There's nothing weak about it. It's a nice solid feeling switch. A switch that's meant to last. As we go forward a little bit, the storage space in this thing is phenomenal. On this side over here, I've got a cabinet over here Above that, we've got a shelf where you can stuff stuff in. On top of that, there's the TV stand, but the only thing that I've got to say that I don't like about this TV stand, I've heard a lot of guys complain about it, it's not exactly easy to mount a modern flat screen television. I know a lot of guys have a lot of giant flat screen TVs in their studio sleepers and they look great. Just takes a little more effort to get it in there, I guess is what I would say. To the left of that, we've got this giant, wardrobe cabinet there's a matching one over on this side and really i mean just to show you how big these things are i think i can fit in here once again the storage space in this thing is just absolutely amazing the only complaint that i'm going to have about this is the fact that in some ways it once again feels a little bit dated when you look at the handles and how the doors open, this is a very solid and secure latch on here. It's a plastic hinge style latch that goes on that, I mean, it puts tension on everything. That's what makes, I mean, that's some of the quality that's built into this. There's no squeaks, there's no rattles, there's no nothing like that because it's got tension on it. It's held together. And to me, it's that kind of quality that just puts the Kenworth and the W900 a step above everyone else. I just love the 86 inch studio sleeper. This is just a phenomenal place to spend some time if you have to. But this is a head to head competition. So let's go next door 
Let's check out and see what the W990 has to offer as the new kit on the block. That brings us over to the W990 now. This interior is very different and you'll have to pardon any crinkling that you hear. The mattress cover still on this. In this, it's a very different interior. It's set up very differently. Now, one of the things is, as you notice, I am sitting down on the bed because if I stand up here, I'm closer to the camera. There is much less distance between the back of the seat and the sofa or the bed. In this case, it's the bed back here. This is the 76 inch sleeper that's in this truck. So there's 10 less inches of sleeper room. One of the things that I love in this interior is really how Kenworth has used the space. There's not a ton of open floor space. I do have, this whole area is open floor space, but there's not a ton of it. I can't get down and do push-ups, sit-ups, etc. So that's, that is one point there. Now, one thing that, before I get too comfortable there, that when I put my hand up here like this, really the inside is about the same height. This has the bed, there's no sofa. Once again, that's a preference choice. This has a ton of really nice storage up on top above the bed. So we've got these cabinets up here. It's got, one of the things that I have to say about all the cabinets here is it's got a much different latch to it. The other thing with these cabinets that are in here, I mean, we've got this wardrobe cabinet over here that if I jump up on this counter, I can probably squeeze my butt in there too, but the way these are set up is there's actually a rubber weather stripping strip on these. So when you close it, it's got that solid feel, the same way as the door does when you close it, but it's all one hand operation. And to me, that's really an, a nice thing and it's a nice setup the way that that's done. Now, another advantage that this truck has being a much later designed truck, I feel, is the TV mount. This is meant for a flat screen television. Kenworth says a 27 inch. I'm on a number of the T680, T880 forms. There's a number of guys that say it's tight, but you can get a 32 inch TV here. The way that they've been able to use the storage space in this truck has been just really effective. It's one of those things where they took a smaller area and made it more useful. So when it comes to storage space, the W900 honestly has more of it. But the way it's put together with these types of latches and the way it's used and the way it's designed, I've got to say I like the W990 setup. Do you need more or do you want a little bit more modern? That's up to you. On top of that, all the lighting in here is LED lighting. And it's super nice. It's all just takes a short little touch. That light can come on. There's a map light over here. I mean, and after I just looked at it, I'm almost blind now. I mean, there's good lighting in here that I really like. The other thing is, is the overhead light. There's three LEDs around here to make sure that there's even light throughout the cabin. I'm running studio lights up front to illuminate the whole truck you can still see when these things turn on, which to me is just, I mean, it really is a testament to how bright these things are. Something else in this sleeper that I think really gives the nod to some modern technology is this table. The passenger seat will turn around and now you've got an actual adjustable seat to work at a table with. Whether you just want to watch TV, whether you want to pull the bracket out so you can watch TV, whether you're trying to work on a computer, whether you're playing video games, whatever you're gonna do, you've got the ability now to do it on a table and in a comfortable chair rather than trying to figure out how to work the couch. To me, it just shows that a lot of lessons have been learned over the years and they've figured out what's gonna work the best in so many situations. The nice thing about this table turning away like this is that this does open up and makes this whole area feel bigger when the table's folded back. It feels like there's a lot of room in here. Hello. 
And I really think with the differences in these two cabs that there is no better way to talk about them than to do it while driving. First thing that needs to happen though, this is a W900, right? That's better. I mean, there's not much crossover here. Now, some of the things that I look at are these traditional Kenworth mirrors. They're set further forward. They give me really good visibility. And as I was pulling out of the dealership back there, it, it makes it so I can see down the road a little bit further. Safety, easy use, all that's what we are all looking for every day, right? And in this, this truck just has a great feel. I've got that king of the road feel. As cars are coming the other direction towards me, I mean, you could just kind of see them tremble with fear as they see this giant mass of chrome come at them. It's a pretty good feeling, and I think it's one of the feelings that we all enjoy whenever we get behind the wheel here. Kenworth has always been known for having quiet, well-sealed cabs. I mean, if this was a day cab, there's that old adage of you, you open the window just a hair in order to make sure it's easier to close the door. It's quiet in here. For really, when you consider what we've got going on and the, the wind and everything like that, it is quiet in here. Now on the flip side of that, if I roll the windows down, other than the wind, it's always kind of fun to lay into it a little bit and you hear the uh, turbo doing its best to suck in the entire atmosphere. This road's not smooth, but the truck really does a phenomenal job of smoothing it out. So now the part that this truck's been waiting for. I mean, we've got 565 horsepower here. This wants to get out on the freeway and stretch some legs. So do I. As I look at the gauges in that, I mean, Kenworth has stuck with the gauges like this for this long for a reason. It works. I can see pretty much every gauge with just a slight move of my head to, to get around the wheel in that. All my switches right here, super easy reach. The Nav Plus system is shared between this truck and the W990. Once again, easy reach, I can see it, radio's right there. Whatever I want is right here. It's a great setup, and I can see why Kenworth has stuck with this for so long. I mean, it's just great. As I get rolling down the road, especially in this red paint, I am king of the road right now. Yes, I know a lot of you guys are gonna give me garbage. I'm running bobtail. Doesn't matter. I feel like I am king of the road. It's just great. I love it. I absolutely love her. On top of that, this truck has just this little bit of a raw feeling to it. I'm hearing the, the, a, a little bit of wind rush past and it lets me know that I'm, I'm moving on down the road. I hear the engine turning over. I, I, I feel connected with this truck. There, there's, like I said, there's just this little bit of this raw feeling with this truck. It's quiet in here, otherwise you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. But it just, it all feels very connected, very, very raw, very, I'm, I'm in the moment, I am part of this truck, we are part of a team. That's, to me, what just makes this an amazing truck. The more time I spend behind the wheel of a W900, whether it's a day cab, whether it's a studio like this, I understand why it's still such a, a sought-after truck. Uh, this truck is just, it, it, it's an extension of you. Um, you become a team with this truck. And I can see why it's such a, a personal thing for everyone with this truck. It is just that your partners.
So guys, now we're in the 990. And as I sit here and look around, it's familiar, but very different. The Nav Plus screen is the same. The gauges are the same font and same style and everything like that. The layout's different. The switches are all very familiar. They're different switches, but they're very familiar looking. It's all within easy reach. Even though this cab is much wider, everything has been able to stay within easy reach. I've got the plushness of in here. The other thing though is that I feel more open. I feel more, I know I've got more space in here. And it's not just the headroom because the W900's cab stops right up here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the W900 cab stops right up here and boy, I can, I can stand up here. In between the seats, I mean, I'm, you guys know, I'm, I'm not a big guy, but the W900 is still a squeeze for me to get between the seats. And this, as soon as I put the arm up, I can do like flop back there. There's a lot more room in here. I'm good with that. I really like that. So let's get it out on the road and see what we all think. As I go through the parking lot, one of the things that I found interesting right off the bat here is that you don't feel like you know where the front end of this truck is as much. There is a little bit of downturn to the nose on this. It's not nearly as much as like a 680 or an 880 or anything like that. But you definitely notice that that downturn's there. So as we go down the road here, you realize that this is a very different truck. It feels different. It acts different, but it's familiar. The controls in a lot of cases are in different places. The Jake on this is up here. The steering wheel is different. It's all very familiar, but like I said, it's, it's very, very different. As we start to hit some of these rougher patches in the road, this thing rides amazing. Um, once again, I know I'm going to get garbage for running bobtail with this, but it really does just soak up the bumps. There's no jumping around. It just rolls over stuff and you, you, you just feel it roll over stuff. And I mean, I've even got the dump valve down on the seat because I like to ride low and it's, it's all there. Now, something else that I've noticed is this has the collision mitigation system on it. So it's telling me that the car in front of me is five seconds ahead of me. It's that little bit of technology that's just helpful out on the road. As I cruise down the road, I feel definitely in command. And once again, there's this giant chrome wall headed at traffic that you can see people, people respect it. Once again, it's that cool feeling. The other thing is, as I drive here, now granted, like I said, I'm sitting low. The hood seems shorter on this truck. And one of these videos, I'll have to sit down and measure to see what the length there is. I believe these trucks are the same wheelbase and everything. But there's some more width up at the front. And I don't know if that's what makes it seem shorter, but there's definitely something that makes it feel a little bit shorter for us. This truck really, it, it's quiet. I just, it, when, it, when you go straight from the W900 into this truck, there's a huge difference between the two in this. It is just that much more quiet. The other thing with this truck too is the visibility is outstanding out this windshield. I mean, I, I really do feel like I'm, I mean, it's tough to explain. The W900 has great visibility, but this, you just feel like you see so much more. Um, it's not a greenhouse like an AMC Pacer, but I feel like anything that I want to be able to see, I can see. The, the, there's just that much more visibility out of this truck. 
as we get out on the freeway here, I mean, I really just, this feels right. There's still just a lack of wind noise, which I find absolutely amazing. Um, it, this truck is, I mean, as I look down, it, it's easy to speed in this truck. It's just that quiet. I can hear the engine running, but there is no wind noise. And, and I, that's just something that's, I guess, tough for me to get past when you realize how much air we've got to move out of the way. I know I talked a little bit about the dash before, and one of the things that I just noticed too, that's when I was in the W900, I three or four times changed the temperature in it. A little bit hotter, a little bit cooler, a little bit hotter, a little bit cooler. This, I set it to like 74 degrees or whatever, and I haven't touched it since I left. This automatic climate control system just, it takes care of it for me. I just set it and done. I haven't touched it. I haven't even thought about it. It's that type of little added touch that's in this W990 that to me is a just, this is the type of stuff that makes all day in the saddle easier. Being comfortable. Because of the lack of wind noise and the fact that it's a little bit quieter and the fact that the cabin's a little bit bigger in this truck. Now, mind you, they're both manual transmissions. I don't feel quite as connected to this truck. It, it doesn't have that raw feel that the W900 does. Now, in many ways, I, I feel that's, that, that's a drawback. Feeling that connection, feeling that closeness. It's one of the things that's made the W900 so great for so long. But in the same sense, in this, I still feel a part of this truck. I mean, there's, I, I definitely know what's going on. The road feel with this truck is amazing. I know exactly what all three axles are doing. But in the same sense, it's, there's a little bit of that raw feeling that's lost. It feels good. It drives amazing. Just flying down the freeway, doing our thing. Once again, this is the same way as the W900. As I drive, as I come to the close of our drive here, I'm, I'm kind of sad. This truck feels really good out on the road, but it feels different. It's not that raw connected. You're still very much the king of the road, you're just that little more comfortable while doing it. So guys, now we're to the end of the video and it's the time that really everyone's been waiting for. It's time to tally up the points and pick a winner, right? Is it the uh, undisputed champion here? This is the new contender in town. Before we get to that, I've got to ask you to subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. We're planning on coming out with more content like this. I would love for you guys to come along on the ride. On top of that, do me a favor, put something in the comments. Whether you like this video, whether there's something you'd like to see. It's your comments are what made it possible for me to get this truck here and this truck here so I could film them both and make this comparison. Your comments also mean a ton to me. I love the fact that we get to interact on all this. It's one of my favorite parts. As always, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. If you didn't, well, I'll only cry for a little while, as I've said. So, we started tallying up the points here. Who's the winner? It's you. These trucks are very similar and yet different. If you're looking for that old school feeling, that's it. There's no other truck out there that touches this. That's all there is to it. 
If you're looking for new conveniences, if you're looking for new design, it's got a little bit of classic to it. That's it. There's no winner here other than you. You've now got two different options if you want to choose the king of the road for your business. It's really all it comes down to. What works for you? If I've got my choice, taking both. Come on.